Today, we're gonna get outside and photograph some flowers in the wild. There are all kinds of colorful flower species you can find that can make for simple and complex subjects. We're gonna cover what gear you'll need, how to compose a shot, and how to add a flash to your setup. Gear is gonna be an important factor when going out to photograph flowers. Depending on the types of shots you're looking for, a macro lens will be your best bet. It's great for capturing small, fine details found on flowers. You can also use 50mm, 85mm, or even telephoto lenses to shoot flowers. Prime lenses tend to be faster and allow for shallower depths of field. Depending on your desired outcome, a shallow depth of field can really make your subject pop out from an out-of-focus background. Additionally, you should have a tripod on hand to minimize camera shake. Make sure to turn off any stabilization your lens or camera might have when using a tripod. When scouting out a subject to photograph, try looking for a flower or group of flowers that have interesting lines, unique colors, and fine details that you can capture in close-up shots. You can photograph any flower you'd like, but try to find something interesting and different. If the flower is in direct sunlight, you may end up with some harsh shadows. Look for ways to diffuse the sunlight, whether that's using a reflector or just standing between the sun and the flower. This will disperse the light evenly over the flower and eliminate harsh shadows. Ideally, you'll want to keep your ISO low, around the 100 range if you can. From there, you'll have to decide how much of the flower and background you want in focus. In this image, we're using a wide open aperture at f3.2 to throw the background out of focus. The same image at f22 is a little busier with more of the background in focus, so try to avoid that if you can. A lousy background can ruin an image and needs to be taken into consideration for every photo. Try different angles, look for symmetry, and look for compositional elements and how they interact with the subject. Make sure there's contrast between your subject and background as well. If you're photographing a flower that matches the background color, then it won't stand out. You can also create your own background by placing something behind the flower. Here we are using a small piece of black foam board. Dropping this in behind the flower eliminates a busy background and makes the colors in the flower really pop. It instantly creates contrast and places all of the focus on the flower. For additional control over the lighting on your subject and background, you can employ a flash or strobe light. Use a diffused modifier to soften up the light and direct it at the flower so it's lighting up the area that needs the most light. Try to avoid coming from directly in front since that will make the flower appear flat. Instead, try lighting from the sides, above, and even behind to get some contrast in your subject. Using a flash is a good way to control your background brightness as well. Since a flash is so fast, you can increase your shutter speed to darken a background without affecting the light on your subject. This gives you the latitude to fine tune just how much brightness you want in your backgrounds. In addition to taking vibrant photos of colorful flowers, look for opportunities to use contrast and make some black and white pictures. There are all kinds of things you can do to spice up your flower photos. If you're shooting macro details, bring a small spritz bottle and add some fresh dew to a flower. Try photographing the backside of a flower as well. Experiment and have fun. Tag B&H in your flower photos and show us your best shots. Let us know some of your techniques to photograph flowers in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one.